Thank you, everybody. Welcome to episode number 41 of Your Next Level's Community Mastermind. Our topic for today is if you could go back and do things differently, what would you have done? Okay. And before we start, I'd like to introduce the people who give up their valuable time, and they've got 60 seconds to share with you some thoughts about what they do. Please make sure you put your links in so the people watching this can reach out to you because the idea is for them to realize there are some people in this world that can help them. And the people who are about to share with you are definitely people who can help you. All right. So to start with, can we start with Fred Gillen, followed by Yvonne? That was quick. Hi, guys. Uh, Fred Gillen, more marketing ideas. I hail from Melbourne, Australia and I help people in all English speaking continents. So what I do is I help them with their um, virtual marketing and I've termed is the, um, I've packaged the term virtual CMO and that's for your virtual chief marketing officer. So I'll help you take your business online, get more leads, get more sales by connecting all the technical dots at the back end for you. Craig Gillen, more marketing ideas. That's me, Yvonne. Thank you very much for Good morning. Sorry, hang on. I just want to say I forgot to start the clock for you anyway, but you did well. <laughs> okay, Yvonne, followed by Jeff, if you're fit enough to do it, mate. Good morning, everyone. I'm Yvonne A. Jones, and um, I'm your client relations specialist, personal business coach. And what I do is that I help business owners grow their business by building those, creating profitable relationships and also creating memorable moments for their clients and customers. The name of my company is My Success Circle Marketing, which is an umbrella company for coaching, consulting, as well as um, a service providing identity theft and legal assistance. I do this because I'm passionate about helping individuals to grow their business, grow themselves, and protect their business. Because a lot of times we spend time growing our business, but what are we doing to protect it from cyber attacks and identity theft and that sort of thing. I'm located in Central Florida. I serve people throughout the world. And this week I'm looking for guests from our group. I can find guests, but I would love to invite members of our group to be guests on my Everyday Passions show, weekly show. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Yvonne. Jeff? I'll be a guest if you want. <laughs> Please make sure, reach out, do that. Yeah, Jeffrey? Maybe. Followed by John Allen. Yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Veal, um, company name, thebusinessgurus.com.au. What we do, um, we do both old school and digital marketing. I've done marketing for over 40 years. And when you do something for 40 years, you get pretty good at it. Um, what, what we do, we help, we help people in English speaking countries to grow their business. And this week, we're looking for anyone who's involved with LinkedIn and we want to show them a better way they can get more leads and more potential clients with LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. And I hope you feel better soon, my man. John Allen, followed by Lucy Bernabe. Hi, everyone. My name's John Allen with Allen Small Business Coaching. What I do in one sentence, I'm the sage of marketing. I help professionals and semi or service-based professionals that are looking for, you know, their marketing is not working, it's not doing what they want. So what I do is I help them by showing them how to use proven methods that work to grow the business so they can have the business of their dreams. I'm located in Southwestern Ontario, but I serve people all over the world. This week, I'm looking again for professionals or service-based business owners that want to grow their business. You know, they're not happy with the results they're getting and want better results. Thank you. Thank you, John. Lucy, followed by Petra. Hi, everybody. My name is Lucy Bernabe, and I am um, working with people who have possibly lost their job or are looking for extra income or even you know, getting to that retirement age and concerned about what they're going to do as far as their retirement's uh, going. It's a, a passive income 
doesn't require major input from you unless you really want to build it. So I think it's something um, that can serve people of all walks of life, all ages. And just be, I'm looking for anybody who is interested in passive income and you know also learning about the crypto space. Thank you very much, Lucy. Pat Dreyer, followed, followed by Bonnie Rose. Thank you, Peter. Hi, everybody. I'm Pat Dreyer, and I'm in network marketing with My Daily Choice. And I show people how to attain freedom through residual income. Now, we offer a turnkey business that you can start for free and actually start earning a check by next Thursday. Now, why do I do it? Most people are struggling. They're looking for change in their life, and they want more time with their family and friends. And they even want more money, believe it or not. And I'm here to show them how to do it. So I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, but we have both physical and digital products. So we serve most areas of the world. So if you can do me a huge favor this year, th this week, what I need is I'm always looking for people who want or need change in their life. I need, and I know that everybody knows somebody who wants to make more money. So if you know anyone who wants to learn how to make a six figure income, just send them my way and we'll teach them everything they need to know. Thanks, Peter. Thank you very much, Pat. Okay, we'll come back to Bonnie. Chris, I would Bonnie you mentioned know? something. Peter, Bonnie said she's listening for now because her connection's not stable. She put that in the oh, chat. Oh, thank you. I didn't see the I didn't see the chat. Thank you very much, Santa Claus. All right. So let's move on. Chris Marks, followed by Janet. Is that okay? Can I call on you? I'm not sure whether you're at work or where you are. But Chris Marks first. Okay, Chris. Awesome. Cheers, Peter. Um, my name's Chris, uh, but everyone calls me Marksy, and my company name is Marksy Digital Marketing uh, Dubbo. I work remotely. Uh, I help small to medium businesses go online, uh, so I help with their digital presence. Um, why I do it is my passion. Uh, ever since I started in 2017, I haven't been able to stop um, since making phone calls and whatever else, you know, just um, something about it just... Uh, I couldn't wrap my head around it. You know, I just love passion for uh, sales and marketing. And um, yeah, so I serve um, uh, small businesses here in Dubbo, but I'm looking to uh, expand. Um, I work remotely also. I'm just looking at the clock up here, seeing how much time I've got I'm reading through the, <laughs> reading through the sentences. So um, yeah, if anyone's interested, you can hit me up and I, I, I work remotely. So uh, I can help you build a website or um, build your digital presence. Cheers, Peter. Did good, Chris. Did good, mate. Cheers, okay. Mate. <laughs> Janet Paselli, followed by Penny Kennedy. Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Janet Paselli. I'm an affiliate marketer with Vox Life. I market high-end exclusive products for people that know that a healthy body needs a healthy brain without the use of... Um, chemicals, drugs, or procedures. This week, I'm looking for anyone you know that might be interested in that. Um, I'm located in St. Augustine, Florida, and I work mainly in the US, uh, Canada, and the UK. And why do I do this? Because I'm passionate about natural health. I'm passionate about helping your body remain at homeostasis without the use of drugs or chemicals. And I I'm very passionate about helping people relieve their pain of all kinds, physical and mental. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Janet. Penny Kennedy, followed by Anna. Good morning, everyone. My name is Penny Kennedy, and I am associated with the company Modare. What I do is I help people live a cleaner lifestyle, the best version of themselves possible. And anything's possible. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Why do I do what I do? Because I have a passion about people's health and their well-being. I believe people work hard for their money. So why not live a long, healthy life with the best financial that you can? I am located in Saskatchewan, Canada, but I serve globally. And this week, I am just looking for anyone who wants to learn more about earning a passive income or learning how to get everyday products for free so they don't have to pay for it, which puts money in their pocket. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much, Penny. 
Anna, Anna Robson, followed by <laughs> Anthony Paselli. All right, so I'm Anna Robson. <laughs> Uh, my business name is the Conversation Center, and what I personally do is I work uh, as a coach and, as, and a consultant, and I focus on business confidence and self-confidence in leadership skills. Uh, to, I am uh, currently in Canada, but I work internationally, and that includes Eastern Europe, some of Europe, and um some of the UK. And uh, why do I do what I do? It's because I know that business doesn't have to be a drag. You, you, you can have uh, your business, you can enjoy it, you can trust it, you can know that it's working for you, not you working at it. And uh, this week, what I'm looking for is if you know anybody who is interested in a, uh, any women who are interested in joining uh, my uh, new uh, new <laughs> sorry new group that I'm launching in a couple of weeks. It's uh, going to be focusing on uh, creating courage and confidence and support systems. And uh, so if you know any, any women who might be interested, uh, let me know and I can send you some information and I will drop a PDF or some information in the chat. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. And the, the group's called Women in Courage, correct? Yes, that's correct. It's called Women in Courage because okay. women, courage doesn't just happen. You have to work at it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Anthony Paselli, followed by Pat Kern. <laughs> Do you know that it's only 77 days, 15 hours, 37 minutes, and 20 seconds until Christmas? <laughs> Who do you know <laughs> who would love to have a visit from Santa? I'm coordinating visits with Santa all year round via Zoom. And who do you know that has a youngster, a niece, a nephew, or a grandchild that could use a mid-year check-in, a birthday greeting, or a, just a special message from Santa? <laughs> you know, I work with kids from 1 to 92. If you would like to find out more, just message me and I'll give you all the info that you need. <laughs> Very good. Anthony, brilliant, mate. Very, very good. <clears throat> Becca, over to you. That's hard to follow. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is uh, Patrick Kern. I'm here in Bellingham, Washington. And I work for a great company called My Daily Choice, a house of brands. Here we got six different brands you can promote, do what you want, buy, sell it's a beautiful thing i do what i do is because i love very passionate to help people generate a little income in their lives because of the way the world is right now and i'm I, this week i am looking for anybody who wants to change their lives to a better way of living y'all have a good day now thank you very much pat let me stop, stop sharing the screen. Okay, we're going to split into two groups now. And when you get in there, make sure you pick a recorder for the group. And before I go into that, however, I'd just like to put some apologies in. <clears throat> Carol Davies can't make it because she's got a family commitment, as has uh, Marlon. He can't make it either because, in fact, he's still driving his car. Um, Desi Perez, she's away from home. She wants to get here, but she's... She's away from home right now. Um, Janet, oh, no, you were here, so I don't, I don't have to say anything about you. So I'll just keep my mouth shut for you. Okay. Um, I think that's it. All right. So we're going to split into two groups. Again, the topic is, if you could go back and do things differently, what would you have done? Okay. What would you have done? Bear with me a moment while I just get organized for the groups. Don't forget to put your links into the tab. Chat there and make sure that you click the little dots at the bottom. Okay. Thank you for your contributions. Okay, welcome back, everybody. 
we, uh, the topic we were talking about was if you could go back and do things differently, what would you have done? Okay. And this is part of episode number 41 of Your Next Level Mastermind. We had two groups. In group one, <clears throat> excuse me, in group one, we had Fred Gillen, Jeff Veal, John Allen, Pat Dreyer, um, Anna Robson, and Pat Kern. And Anna, you're doing the recording, I believe. So over to you. That's why I'm using myself. All right. So long story short, we all agree we wouldn't change a damn thing. Wait, can we curse on this? I hope. I apologize. <laughs> so anyway, we won't change a thing. <laughs> because uh, all our past experiences gave us the opportunity to serve our clients and our uh, better now and be better family members and friends in, uh, in our personal lives. So Patrick won't change it again, a darn thing in his life. It's important for him to move forward and not focus on what, what it was because those are life lessons and he also can't change anything in the past. Bonnie uh, had a very a lot of challenges in her life, not an easy life, many trials and tribulations, but she will but she won't be, she thinks she won't be able, to, and, I, and I agree with her, to do what she's doing now for her clients. And uh, if she didn't, and, and help people more if she didn't uh, go through everything she did. John uh, says our past is what is, uh, is what got us to where we are. Uh, the only thing is, um, Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, challenges are helping us grow. He, he believes that everything we go, went through makes us uh, better leaders to serve our, our friends and clients. Now. Fred says hindsight is a great thing. And he's only the only thing he would maybe change is spend more time with his family. He used to work uh, very, very long hours in the corporate world to be able to support his family the best he can. And uh, he would um, he hasn't seen his kids growing grow up as much as he would have wanted to. Jeff um, is in the same boat. He regrets not spending uh, more time with his family because he was working so hard to be able to provide that uh, lifestyle of abundance for his family. Um, and he regrets not traveling more in Europe, but he thinks he can <laughs> fix that in the future because uh, uh, he thinks it's very important to travel and learn uh, how other cultures are living their lives. Uh, and uh, he regrets uh, not working, not leaving his business, some of his businesses earlier, because working at, as a, a business he didn't love was rough, and he could, would he would have uh, preferred to have uh, known to known better to, and just left some, some things behind and started something else earlier. Pat Dreyer. <laughs> said that uh, the only thing that to consider is he would have invested in Apple, Amazon, and Bitcoin. <laughs> you know, I, that's the hindsight thing, right? <laughs> and uh, and he would have uh, told his younger self to pick inter entrepreneurship earlier in life because that's where he thinks the best opportunities are. And that's where he would have uh, thrived even earlier. Uh, <laughs> I hope I, may, I said it correctly. <laughs> I said I wouldn't change anything. Also, the only thing is I would tell my younger self to start therapy earlier because that makes since I started therapy and continue with it, it makes me a better leader and a better coach and a better friend and a better, you know, just human being that is able to enjoy her business and the people in her life more. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, everyone in group one. Any questions for group one or for Anna or for any of the members there? Okay. Before we get to group two, let me just share very quickly. If I could go back and do things differently, what would I have done? I made a huge mistake. 
15 years ago when I first started online, I had so much ego, I could do it on my own. I didn't need any help at all. I didn't need any help. I can do this. Okay. And that shot me in the foot. But it took me 18 months to find out and realize that I can't do it on my own. And if I could go back, I would have got a mentor or a coach right up front. And the other thing I would have done is start an email list. I didn't start an email list for two years. So they're the two things I've had. All righty. Group number two, and again, the topic for those who are watching, and don't forget, please make sure you click the links that these people are leaving. If you're look, watching this on YouTube, it's in the description box. They're there for you to serve you. They're there to help you in any way you possibly need. Group two was Yvonne Jones, Lucy Bernabe, Chris Marks, Nolene Quinn, Janet Paselli, Penny Kennedy, Anthony Paselli. Okay, and I believe it is Yvonne who's reporting. And again, the topic for those who are watching, if you could go back and do things differently, what would you have done? Thank you, Yvonne. Over to you. Thank you, Peter. Okay, we started with Lucy. And Lucy has, um, 10 years ago, she started online marketing. And she basically treated it as a side gig because she had a full-time job. And so she had a secure income. Well, last February, February of 2020, she lost her job and her focus has now changed. So what she would have done differently, she would not have waited until she lost her job to get serious about her business, about her other business, which is now her main business. For Anthony, Anthony does not like to look back. He likes to look forward and try to achieve his dreams and his goals uh, because he feels that by... Um, by being fearful, by not being fearful and embracing whatever comes his way to achieve his goals, then that would, that's a better perspective and that's his way of life. And he feels that you really can complete, com complete, be complete by looking back. So he looks forward to embracing whatever he can do to achieve his goals. Penny has a similar viewpoint as Anthony, and she, but she did say that there's one thing she would have done differently. And that is, excuse me, one moment, please. <laughs> Shut that dog up. <laughs> <laughs> the Zoom life. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm used, I'm used to being here by myself and my husband and I told my daughters are here and so on. So there's talking. Sorry about that. Yes. So for Penny, yes. The thing that she would have changed, she worked very, very hard. In her words, she would not have hustled as much as she did at the beginning. Because at the time, she was very focused on making money and achieving certain things. What she would probably have done differently is to take a step back, take her time, and be able to spend a little bit more, more time with her family because family is very important to her. Did I cover that correctly, Penny? I hope so. Um, I well want done. to thank you. Thank you, Penny. Chris, um, what he would have done differently, he would have found a mentor when he first came online because he didn't have a clue. He just you know, heard about this as he tr tried, started to do it, but he started to do it on his own and didn't feel he needed to take advice from others. So that kind of set him back. So that's what he would have done differently. He would have found a mentor and he would have listened to those who were ahead of him. Nolene, um, so she would have started faster and try harder to uh, overcome her fears and her insecurities. Again, Nolene spoke of getting a, big, a mentor would have been more effective, would have helped her to expand her thinking for her to think bigger. And she would have implemented more. In other words, whatever courses she purchased, maybe a little bit of shiny object syndrome, although she didn't refer to it as that, but purchasing programs and not finishing them, should have implemented more and put more into, into at work. Janet has a similar view to um, Anthony and to Penny. She doesn't believe in mistakes and looking back. But 
she would have focused less on looking at people as potential customers. Instead, she would have focused on building relationship because she recognizes that there's strength to that in building the relationship first. And at the same time, she would have listened to more mentors because now that she's doing that, she finds that she's enjoying what she's doing a lot better. And Janet, did I cover that okay? And thank you. And for me, the one thing I focused on, because there's so many things we could do differently. The one thing I focused is on was when I, at the age of 52, I decided to leave corporate America. I had a plan for six months down the road, but because my the work environment had become so toxic, I just got to the point where I couldn't stand going into that place one more day. And so I resigned rather abruptly. And before I had completed the plans that I had, to make sure that, you know, the usual thing, you have a backup, you, you know, how your bills are going to be paid and you're not so stressed out about when you just start your business, you have to start making an income immediately. So I would have tried a little harder to stick to my plan, my timeline, so that it wasn't so stressful when I first started my own business and for my first corporation. And that's it from us. Great advice. Thank you very much, Yvonne, and thank you, Group 2. Any questions? Anyone want to add anything there? I do. I just I just wanted to make a comment um, about, so I'm probably one of the younger people in this group, and I just want to say how much I appreciate all of the advice that everyone shared. My mentor, David Meltzer, calls it uh, paying the dummy tax for people. So ev by everything that you guys have learned and shared with the rest of us, we can avoid making those same mistakes in the future. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that shared. You gave me some things to think about. Bonnie, that was so nice of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. It's now time for Mr. Pat Dreyer to do a little bit of discussion because Pat is the man who's got the gift for the week. And let me first share the screen for you, Pat. Hey, Pat, you can't win this week. Well, you know, it was either that or win. And I, <laughs> so I had to give something away, you know. Hey, Pat, you know, before you start, you know what I was going to do? I was going to put the wheel up with only one name on it. Yours 15 times. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Pat, for being the presenter this week. Over to you, my man. Oh, my pleasure. This uh, this is what I'm giving away this time, uh, again, actually. Um, I'm in network marketing because it's one of the last places that you can have a turnkey business for a few hundred bucks, and the upside's really unlimited. So really, everybody can get into it, and everybody has the same shot at success. So it was after meeting two guys, Robert and Jimmy, that I knew that this was true. And in the last 32 years, these guys have made over $50 million each in network marketing. Robert's 58, Jimmy's in his 90s, so they actually started at different different times in their life, but they covered the same 30 years. And Robert had a career-ending accident as an auto mechanic. He got involved out of pure desperation. And Jimmy was a retired butcher, and he got involved because he just knew he wasn't done working. And my thought was, if these guys can do it, I can do it, and anybody can do it. Now, I don't need $50 million, but that's not going to stop me from earning it because I've got a lot of people I can help. Now, they say that network marketing is a, a personal development program with a comp plan. So my gift today is this book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's one of the first personal development books that's ever been written. And between this book and The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles, you're going to find that most coaches and personal development gurus, they actually base all their teachings from the principles that are found in these books. Now, Bob Proctor studied it, and he taught this book for over 60 years. His goal was to have a business that teaches in every country in the world, and he realized that goal this year. He's amassed a fortune in that time. He, he loves what he does. He's 87 now. He has more energy than people half his age. And his whole premise is, tell me what you want. I'll show you how to get it. So my suggestion, whoever wins this book, read it again and again and again, study it, master it, adopt all the principles in it and teach what you learn and teach it and, and uh, you're going to be that much better for it. Anyway, uh, when they say rich here, they really mean abundance. So it's abundance in all areas of your life. So uh, health and happiness, family and friends, love and yes, wealth, financial well-being. 
Because if you don't have things and money, you can't help anyone. So whoever wins, we'll get together on Messenger and figure out how to get to you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank you very much. You know, I agree with everything you said. One of the best books ever been put together. There's no doubt about that. Anna, question? Uh, I just want, no, well, not a question, a little point. I don't know, uh, Pat, if you've uh, read the book uh, by Napoleon Hill called Outwitting the Devil. But for everybody here, I highly recommend that book as well. It's a lesser known book by him, but it is stellar and it's very, uh, has very important messaging as well. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, here we go. Now make sure we got everyone on there that should be on there. Bonnie Rose, Anthony Pacelli, <laughs> Jeff Veal, Chris Marks, Yvonne Jones, Anna Robson, Nolan Quinn, Pat Kern, John Allen, Lucy Vernape, Penny Kennedy, Fred Gillen, and Janet Pacelli. And there is definitely no Pat Dreyer. Okay, Fred, oh, you no. got that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would probably win it again. <laughs> <laughs> here we say go. anything like to say postage. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everybody. And thanks again, Pat. Really, yeah, the wheel really just keeps spinning, it won't stop. I haven't started yet. Here we go. There you go. No lead. Wonderful. Win. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, so would you? Uh, and Pat and Nolan connect with each other on Messenger or something and work out how you can do that. Absolutely, I'll get with you, Nolene. Okay, so congratulations, Nolene. Thank you very much. Anna, you nearly got it, just missed out. It just went past your name. Thank you. I read this book 10 million times, though. It's uh, yeah, so well, it's a great, great. Well done, Nolene, because it's a really good book. And thank you again, yeah. Pat. All right, thank you all for your contributions. I really do appreciate you all very much indeed. And also, the time that you give up is extremely valuable to me. So thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Until this thank time you. next week. Don't uh, forget to click on the dots in the chat. Yeah, it's time to chat. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you, John. Thank you, Fred. Don't forget to click on the dots. <laughs> and I will try and put this up over the weekend for you as soon as I possibly can. All right. In the meantime, thank you again for your contribution. I really appreciate you all. Okay. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Good yeah. to see you. Bye, everybody. Next Bye. week. Good to see everyone. Bye -bye. Get well soon. Have a beautiful Andy. week.